Hey everyone, TAC1421 here. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Hunger Games series. And I got a another a video for everyone today, another gameplay. And in this one, I was streaming with a bunch of people. I, this is a gameplay from my stream. I was the stomper kit, but I don't really use stomper too much in this game. I try to stomp someone here, and uh, they were probably like six blocks away, just like right out of reach of killing them. But then I fall into this little hole and one of my uh, stream guys or whatever comes and saves me uh, but anyways in this one uh, you can see all the astronaut skin people that was the skin of the day if you will so those you'll see everyone that has the astronaut skin on is on our team and then i let some other people team with us because they didn't get the astronaut skin in time or didn't register or whatever uh, the you know the thing was that messed them up but anyways uh, i do uh, go hunt some people down and i don't really get the kills to them but my teammates get the kill and then chris got swag probably the most insane play of the game kind of outrageous kind of bizarre he kills one guy and he literally the guy that dropped like a ton of materials as i get a text message I'll get to that in a second, but anyways, uh, he, he got a ton of armor and swords and whatnot that we definitely needed, and this was pretty early on into the game, so it was pretty bizarre that there was that much stuff, and I think there was like three full sets of material, so I get a set of material for myself, he got a set of material for himself, and then we got as much as we could, we brought back to other people, uh, which you'll see in a second, we actually end up going to the feast, which spawned probably, I don't know, I want to say like five minutes later. Uh, and so you can see there, a bunch of people on the feast. And the feast was pretty cool. It was like indented into like a, uh, I guess like a cliffside or something, like a mountain. So it was a kind of a, a cool like little landscape. And you had like barriers on the sides. And then on the other side, there was like a huge fall off. So you can use both sides to your advantage, however you wanted to play it, uh, to try to kill someone. So that was really cool. Um, so yeah, you can see people coming to the feast now. There's a minute left, and we of course are going to raid the chests and hopefully control the feast, control the game. And right here, you can see three seconds to the feast, and I rapidly click the chests and rapidly try to get the items, but uh, for whatever reason, I don't get anything. And then I accidentally go into the, the enchanting table, and I just don't get any items at all. But that's okay because I have full armor, so it's fine. I'll end up trying to get some other stuff later. And then we try to kill this one guy, and for whatever reason, there's a cultivator on the feast that put all these trees everywhere. I don't know why they did that. But anyways, now we're just like triple teaming this one guy. We pretty much have him outmatched. I almost die there, but I just soup up and you know put a line of defense down so he can't go the other way. Or he can, but he'll get set on fire. And then we get that kill. Nice kill there. And then this other guy on our team ends up actually perishing, unfortunately, from this berserker. And then we just have to try to take a step back here and let him swing away and lose his Berserker boost. And he tries to team with us, or he tries to do a fake team sign, and then he just goes all out and tries to kill us again. So Chris got Swag and I are trying to team on this guy and try to kill him. We're trying to team up and kill this guy. His Berserker boost finally disappears, but I get poisoned from someone. I don't really know who, so I just kind of left. And then uh, I end up getting another uh, set of uh, pants, uh, diamond pants. So now I have even better armor on me. And at this point, uh, we have, I think there's like eight players left or something like that. So there's our stream and then there's probably like, I don't know, three or four players besides us. Maybe a little more than that. Maybe there's like 12 or so. But we were just trying to kill this one guy and he put up a really good fight, I must say. But I hit him with either a weakness or a slow, I think it was a weakness potion. So... His Berserker boost went away, and then um, all was good. It was pretty. It was still pretty hard to kill him, because I mean, but he wasn't doing too much damage to us because he only had a stone sword, and he was souping up a lot. But you know, GG. <laughs> we eventually get him. I forget who gets the kill, but we'll see here in a second. All right, so yeah, Chris got swag, got another kill there, and then we blow up the feast and run away, and you can see the huge explosion that takes part. And yeah, so cool stuff. So now we go, uh, there's a bunch of people that were in like bases. So uh, I see this guy in the base. I have this ender pearl. So I just, you know, go down and chuck the ender pearl and just hit him a few times. And he was pretty much screwed at that point. So you can see there are 11 players left. So there was 12 and then there was 11. And so now we just have to try to hunt people down. And we see these other guys in the tower. There was literally like five or six towers. Um, some people jumped down and ran away. Some people... 
uh, just committed suicide and these other people we had to go up to them and try to get the kills but uh, you can see here I almost accidentally hit Chris got swag off he was stomper as well I believe so that wouldn't have uh, actually yeah he, okay he was stomper so it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have done really anything but we were worried about the lava so that that could have been very bad but fortunately enough he doesn't get hit off and he does get those kills and now there's a few other people left and you can see another sky base and then we just jump down, they jump down, and I jump down right behind them. And we try to run after them and kill them, obviously. <laughs> so I almost kill. There's a bunch of times in this game where I almost kill Chris Scott Swag. But uh, thankfully enough, I, we didn't, I didn't kill him. That would have been awful. I would have felt so bad because he gave me all that armor. But yeah, he played a very good game in this game, so he he, play, he played really well. So that was that was really good. And then this other guy, uh, Laura or whatever, finds us. And then so now we have a team of five, and we're just trying to track these people down. Chris got swag, got the one kill, and then I think the other person falls in lava and dies. So now there is in a second five people left. There we go. So five people left, which is all five of us. So then we decide to do a final battle to the death. We took off all the armor and decided to only have four things of stew and then fight with some kind of item that only does half a heart of damage. And we decided not to do any, um, you know, uh, soup ups or, you know, re-putting re soup into your inventory, whatever the term is called, or eat any food. But you can see here, he was either eating food or souping up, obviously, so... Uh, I was at a huge disadvantage at this point because he pretty much had me out and outmatched now because I couldn't soup. I only had two things of soup left, and he either has a full inventory or he has full health, and uh, it's not going to be good from here. So I just chase after him. I, I cut a lot of this out. It was probably like a ten-minute battle uh, between all of us, but it was it just I was like running around like crazy because they all went for me at the very beginning. So I was trying to like. Uh, outmaneuver people and, and run around and try to get them to fight each other but uh, one person died I forget who got the kill and then I'm gonna die here in a second but it was a really good game I think I get fourth place I want to say yeah fourth place and I think Chris got swag ends up winning the game and he definitely deserved to win that one it was definitely a fun stream I think we played two or three games after this one so uh, I'm about to die here in a second as I frantically try to run away one last time and to no prevail, fourth place for TAC 14, 21 with those three kills. The game took a very long time, but that's because people were camping in towers and stuff. And we also had some technical difficulties with the stream. But anyways, congratulations, Chris Scott Swag, for your first place victory with Stomper as you get 10 kills. And I hope everyone enjoyed this gameplay, and I will see everyone next time. Peace.